Hello everyone, today on Lisa's List, we're gonna talk about what happens when you have a vision for a project and you cannot find exactly what you're looking for. So stay tuned. <music> with Daniel Ravenel, Sotheby's International Realty in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. And sometimes when I'm doing a design project or a renovation, I have a vision and I just can never find exactly what I'm looking for. And that's exactly what happened when we were working on the bathroom in this house. And I just could not find a vanity that was going to work, was large enough, or just exactly what I wanted. And I, I usually like to find things that are unique and different. So I decided I would just get an antique piece of furniture so I went on to search for that, and this is what I came up with. And you'll see it has a beautiful hand-painted design on the front of it. And this old green paint color is the color that's the inspiration for the ceiling and the bathroom that we're doing. Since this is going to be in a bathroom and it's going to get water on it, you want to place a good sealer on it. I use Waterlox products. You can order these online. You can get them off of Amazon, it's, uh, actually. This one is a universal tongue oil sealer. Uh, that's the first product you use. I put that on. I let it set for 24 hours. And then I came back and did two coats of the Waterlox Original. It's a sealer and finish. And that will keep the water from uh, having an issue on the top. But what I actually did, just instead of just doing the top, I did the front and the sides just to make sure, just in case any water splashes over or runs down on the sides of the cabinet. What we're going to do now is we're going to pop a sink in this uh, cabinet and... Then after that, we'll show you the finished product. So we finally got the sink placed into the antique piece of furniture. We used 100% silicone caulk to do that. We have this piece of furniture now placed in the bathroom. So the bathroom is almost finished. We only have a couple more things to do. You'll notice these drawers are out. Since the sink went in, these drawers will have to be recut. And then the bottom drawers will have to be recut so all the plumbing will go in and then we'll reconfigure those so we can still have some storage. We have our mirror up, we have the lighting all in. So all we have to do now is get the faucet in the sink and get some trim done and we'll have a finished product. And hopefully we'll be showing you that soon. Until next time on Lisa's List. 